Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back for this Friday, the first day of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Ken. Everyone, how'd you guys like that little theme music? I knew you. I knew you guys would like a little, little uh, Fox Sports. Uh, you know, regarding about football, Super Bowl this weekend. Hopefully, everybody's getting all ready. I was waiting for that. I said, you know what? I I, I forgot to tell Josh to play it yesterday, but uh, it's always a great theme to play right before. Uh, Certain events, but everybody's ready for the Super Bowl. Or everybody's ready for trading. I'm getting ready for the Super Bowl. I think everyone's getting ready for the Super Bowl because the market's not really doing that much, right? Uh, I'm ready to block anyone from now. <laughs> All right, Mark. Wendy says I'm ready for both. Uh. <laughs> Good to see you, Neil. Good to see you, Dean. Yeah, it's nice to be back. I was down in Florida. It was uh, at the trade station event. It was freezing. Uh, the first couple of days, I mean, well, hell, in New York was freezing. Can't believe the weather, how bad with that vortex was, but um, kind of slowed everybody down a little bit. But re regarding about, uh, you know, being at, at the trade station event, you know, by the way, that's a really good, really nice, very nice event. You know, if you guys ever get the opportunity uh, to go down there and do one of their workshops, you know, Elaine was there. We met, we had, we hung out, we had dinner. Uh, they had such a great dinner. I mean, they must have spent a fortune on this this dinner. I mean, I, I don't. I rarely go out to dinner and then would order Kobe beef, but they were like giving Kobe beef. <laughs> you know, that's like a hundred dollars a pound. So you know that uh, they definitely spoiled everyone down there. It was pretty nice, but it was a great educational lesson. And if you guys ever get an opportunity, uh, I'll let you know. I'm definitely gonna be going back down there again regarding it. But uh, but let me tell you, a lot of people there. Are, we're so we're, we're so intrigued about you know talking about the matrix how it works and everything else that we're gonna have a lot of you know a lot of new members a lot of people are gonna do it but just remember everybody we don't invite everyone to be part of the cyber group room you know remember it's not it's it's not a uh, it's not a right it is a it is a privilege the way we do it because we don't want every Tom Dick and Harry in here you know and and you know having fun so you know regarding about trading it's not for everybody. And, uh, you know, so always remember when uh, when we approve somebody to be part of the room, you know, that we obviously see some potential and that's what it's about. But anyway, regarding about what's going on in the market and stuff like that, I know you guys did really well with uh, with the Ferrari rate, uh, stock yesterday. I wish I was with you, uh, but I was out yesterday. But Ferrari, you know, it's been a big, big run up right there. You guys killed it yesterday from 114 all the way to 128. Listen, some people don't realize, they keep asking, you know, you know, I, I try to explain to them, we only trade an hour a day, that's it, one hour. So anyway, you could see right here, right at the gate, this thing was just a gorgeous run. Now, listen, I know some of you here know that we don't really trade expensive stocks, but once in a while, you know, we will. And this one was just a great move, and it was just, it was just I could just tell you, just looking at it right now, looking at the pre-market, had a great pre-market, did exactly what it was supposed to do in pre-market, and then right at the gate, they had all those orders, and boom, right up until uh, 114, all the way to, to 126 in less than 30 minutes. I bet a lot of you guys are pretty much done on that. Now, regarding about the, I, I want to do a quick shout out, because, uh, what you would call it, uh, somebody did really, really well, Susie. You know, she's been working really hard. Susie R has been really working hard. Uh, you know, she's not, she hasn't been with, uh, with CTU, you know, over, you know, she's been with us for a little while. And now she made a lot of money yesterday trading the Crohn's trade, the CRON. Let's give her a big shout out. She made $3,000 in her account uh, trading on that CRON. So uh, let's give her a big round of applause. I know she's been working hard. Good for you. Good for you, uh, good for you Susie. I tell you, I, I, I'm like, I'm still like, I'm, I'm, I'm up in the air. I'm thinking about averaging up on this position. Listen, remember, let me tell you one of the big mistakes I made with this stock, and then we're going to go go through the watch list. But um, remember I told you guys a while ago, if you ever want to give a nice, you know, uh, gift to a, a, a newborn, their first birthday, uh, a communion, a baptism, whatever it is, you know, instead of like, you know, like I don't know how you guys do in your part of the uh, country, but here we always give money. So I, I came up a while ago and I says, you know, I, I was telling my wife, being in the financial business, I said, you know what? I'm not giving money anymore. I'm not giving money anymore. I'm just going to, I'm going to buy them stock and I'm going to trade their stocks. You know what I mean? Because listen, giving a gift for like 300 $500, $100, 
you know, what are they going to do with it? The parents going to take it and probably pay their, you know, do something with it. But, you know, so I started buying um, all my nephews and nieces, you know, during the holidays. Now, now they, now they, you know, they really, I'll give them a little something, but, um, you know, I played a joke with them with the silver coins, which you probably all know about. I talk about that in class, but I also, um, I buy them stock and I, I put them all in the crone's trade and, and my, and then my, uh, my, my nephews and nieces come up to me and says, what, what did you buy my, what did you buy my son? You bought him pot stocks? I'm like, <laughs> like, they're like, no, nah, listen, it's about making money. And they're like, okay, Fausto, listen. You're the king of it. You know better than me. So anyway, I got a lot of them in 14 and uh, around $15. And remember what I told you about a couple of weeks, about a week ago, when a stock breaks an all-time high, there is no resistance levels. Just remember what happened and how many of you were so upset what happened with TLRY. You missed it. We, we were trading as an IPO. went from $20, went to 300 right? Now, listen, you know, I just – you know, knowing as trading how it goes, regardless of what, what the industry is, when the stock breaks all-time highs and they're going up, that's what you want to look at. Now, uh, yeah, we're going to check out the AMD. You guys are looking at that AMD trade. I know AMD is actually doing pretty well, too. AMD just had a nice little pop. So, anyway, uh, that was some of the stocks that we traded, and there were a couple other ones. AMD was good yesterday. Uh, U.S. Steel was good yesterday. PHA, for all of you guys missed it. I mean, these are all the stocks that were pretty good from what I um, was told that you guys did really well on it. That one, you could see a great little pop, cheap little stock. I like this stock still. This is, the, this is going right back on my watch list again. You could see it out of all of them. Uh, the stock's got a great, great, great push. All right, so what do we got on our list? Well, listen, the biggest percentage gainer on in the market right now is the TTNP, and you could see it. Um, stock is up 70%, cheap little stock. I don't know. The only problem is, you know, it's not really going up that much. You know, it, 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 I mean, it, it gapped up nicely after hours, and it's just all over the place. So be really, be really careful about this stock. Uh, TTNP, Deb Fine saying is 12 million outstanding reverse and on a reverse split. Well, that's probably what happened, you know, where you could see where it had that little back off right there. But as of right now, just be very careful of the stock because I'm not completely sold on it. Let's see how she opens up. This thing is not – listen, don't let the $2 stock fool you. I tell you this all the time. This thing is probably already in the level three category, you know, when it comes to trading. Drones, we already know that's on our watch list. Oops. That one's going to be working on our watch list right there, C-R-O-N. Oh, I don't know why I typed it in wrong. But uh, Crohn's look at starting to make a nice little push. Like I said, um, I'm contemplating of averaging up on my position on that one. Amazon, you know, that's obviously the big news. You know, Amazon taking a very, very big hit right here. Was it down to 80 points or something like that? You know, that's definitely not doing too well. But, uh, but listen, don't look at Amazon, okay? Amazon is obviously going to be a very good indicator of the market. But, hey... Look at the great news we had, right? What were the great news that we had? The job reports that came out today blew the doors out of it. Unbelievable. Market's up 80 points right now, but blew the doors out of it. <laughs> you, know, there's, there's a, you know, there's a funny saying uh, someone told me yesterday. They're like, you know what? What are we going to do with all these jobs? They, 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 there's, there's more jobs out there than people can actually fill in. Who knows? Probably be unemployment might be down to 2% the way we're going. Or well, they have to force people to go to work. Um, but anyway, that's great for the market. That means, you know, that people are making money. That's great. So uh, that one's doing pretty well. Gurn is another one I pointed out early this morning, too. It looks like she backed off. I thought she was going to move nicely when I saw it around 126. Ah, right now, maybe it, she gapped up a little bit. She's a level one stock. You can see she really doesn't move. Not really a good day trading stock. Semantic. Is another one that showed up on my radar too. That one gapped up after hours. It's got some resistance levels from yesterday's close. You know, a little bit more of a brand name stock. Just be very careful of that one. A P H A. You can see that one. I'm just bringing it back up right there again. That one's moving pretty nicely. And the A M D. You know, which some of you said you're already in it. Did pretty well on that one. A M D got major resistance levels look at yesterday's resistance levels right around 25 so there's not really that much room when it comes to amd um got remember got to have a game plan one of the biggest things that i think that a lot of people that i trained in when i was down in 
at Trade Station, you know, at the, at that workshop, a lot of people that were there didn't realize that the strategy behind Cyber Training University is not what happens in the past. It's what's indicative of the future. And how do we know what's, what to predict in the future is you got to look at the orders, got to look at the iceberg orders. So, um, you know, that's one of the big things, uh, you know, that they, a tip that they took away with them. But overall, I'm glad to be back. Uh, listen, this weekend, it is Super Bowl. So, you know, they, they actually wanted to make a national holiday on Monday. I don't know why they don't. People always. So I could tell you this. Monday is going to be a really, really slow day. A lot of people going to be hungover. A lot of people going to drag it in their feet. So don't expect Monday being anything great. Um, now, regarding about February 1st. Listen, all you students out there, you know one of the, one of the, the, the biggest things that we teach you, which a lot of you um, know how strict we are in classes, is your journals. Now, remember, you got two journals. You got a daily journal and you got a monthly journal. The monthly journal is going to let you know if you're ready to go to the next level. So you got to go over your monthly journal, see what, you, what you've been averaging out over the course of the month. Between your losers and winners, remember, we built that really nice uh, Excel spreadsheet that will calculate and tell you what your average profit losses are. It's awesome. You know, uh, we taught you how to use it. You know, we review it with you, our instructors, uh, being a student at Cybertrain University. So let's see if you're ready to go to that next level. All right. Yes, Tom, one last uh, stock. You're right. And you know what? GE has been phenomenal. That was another big winner I told you about a while ago. GE's doing, you know, doing great. Uh, we all, listen, I, 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 I chased that stock right around $8, okay? And that was another big, big winner that I liked back then. You know, when, the, the way you know when you're getting a good deal on a stock is when you have the worst of the worst of the worst news, you know, like the PCG that we looked at. When you get the worst of the worst and it doesn't go any lower, that's when it's a good buy, right? That's with any stock. So, G is obviously doing phenomenal. Did great yesterday. Uh, but, it, you know, just guys, remember, don't day trade this stock. This stock will shake you out like crazy. This stock is a, a, a more of a swing trading stock. But uh, GE looks like uh, things are changing there. You know, listen, 120-year-old company took a huge hit for a long time. One of the big blue chips of the market. All right, everyone. Good luck, everyone. And uh, we'll see you back. Uh, remember, today we have a really busy day. We have a uh, open house today on Friday. So hopefully you guys are going to be around at 12 o'clock. Invite your friends. Go out there. Share the link. Try to get everybody in there. Let's see if we can, uh, you know, help us uh, support CTU. We can recruit more traders. And uh, what else we got? And then we got the afternoon meeting. All right. Remember, everyone, if you made money, take it, run it, run with it. Can't go broke taking a profit. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the link in the trading room, James. All right. Thanks, everybody.